Hey everyone, I am Brugly, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining a very classic Backrooms level, one that went missing from the Wikidot about a year ago, and has since reappeared. It has a name that you all remember, Rot in Hell Jane, level 415. And this level is so nostalgic to me, and if you're an OG to the community, or if you're a member of the level, I hope you're excited. This was amazing. Let us get into the explanation, shall we? Backrooms level 415 is classified as a class not alive zone and is not sustainable for life. There are many, many danger factors, and if you recall the level from last year, you understand that. Now, you also might remember that the level was numbered level 145 last year, and this one is level 415. Since level 145 was taken, when they re-added it, they had to make it 415. I'm just saying this to avoid confusion, but anyways, the level itself takes the appearance of an expansive three-story corroding hospital. The hospital itself has a very, very hostile environment, and its air, its matter, its environment, everything about it is just aggressively dark and volatile. The level size is large, although it is limited to three stories in that same hospital. It's three floors, and each of these floors has a staircase at the end of a hallway that goes up or down. The level of decay in the hospital is extensive. There's mold on the walls and the ceiling, on the roof, on the floors, and there's dust on every single surface and dust floating in the air. And this leads to the thought that this hospital has been abandoned for a very long time. I mean, it doesn't take a Sherlock Holmes to figure that out, but it's just true. Some of the hallways in the hospital have trash and other debris on the floor, things like wrappers and plastic, and there's other things like hospital equipment and tools. Note that there might be scalpels or old needles inside of the trash on the floor, which can make walking around more dangerous since you do not, under any circumstance, want to get cut by these things. I'll explain why later, but it's a very bad level exclusive thing that happens if you do. There are a total of 60 rooms in this hospital, or if you're good at math, that's 20 on each floor, because there's three floors, 20 times three is 60, and the rooms are described as follows. Each hospital room contains the following items, a single bed and a desk. That's literally all of them have that in some form or fashion. Now in some of the different rooms, there might be photographs or empty frames on the desks or on a bedside table, but most of them look like what I just said. Inside these rooms, there are also trash, and there's the scalpels and the needles on the floor as well, and there's even trash on the beds in some of the rooms. All of them share the same vibe as the whole level, they're all corroded, and they're all abandoned. There are no entities that could sneak up on you in this level, which is nice, I guess, but it's been noted that the hallways and the rooms have a very foul smell coming out of them mostly from an unknown source. We're not really sure where it comes from. But the only real danger while exploring the hallways or the rooms so far is the sharp objects on the floor and maybe a floor that might cave in underneath you. Every single room is accessible inside this level except for one single room. Room number 315. Number 315's door is locked and even approaching the door will cause a whole slew of effects to happen to your brain, and I'll get into all those effects later, but this mysterious room 315 has other weird things going on inside of it. Trust me. According to the nameplates outside of the door here, this room is where someone or something named Jane stays. And from inside of room 315, you can hear screaming and these pleas crying for help. The screaming is extremely loud and it's very distorted sounding. And it's no shocker that the person doing the screaming is good old Jane. And these screams and the unnerving sounds behind door 315 are the mental hazards that you're gonna have to worry about on this level because they have the ability to drive wanderers or whoever else hears them insane. It's just one of those sounds that you shouldn't hear with human ears. It breaks down your mental stability. But more on Jane though later, I'm gonna explain more of the actual level right now. Now the level itself seems to be in a perpetual state of darkness, and it has no day or night cycle, it's just always stuck in dark. And along with this, the lighting here is strange to say the least. There's no actual lights in the ceilings that work, 
or from the windows, but they're still light ambiently. This ambient light is all of the light you'll have here, and no one knows where it comes from. It kind of just exists in the air. Flashlights also do not work here, and cameras normally get glitched if you try to take pictures. The temperature here inside this hospital ranges from 10 degrees Celsius to 13 degrees Celsius, which is like 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's pretty cool for indoor temperatures. It's almost cold, actually. The windows that are randomly placed around the level look out to nothing but black darkness. There's literally nothing outside. Every attempt that's been made to break a window to actually see what's out there has not worked. It's actually resulted in several people getting injured. When you enter these decaying halls, it's said that you're instantly filled with regret and the weight of all your past faults and all your sins. All these negative emotions will just overwhelm you and you'll get this feeling of loss hanging in your brain. And the longer you stay inside the level, the more that sense of loss and regret and pain becomes more aggressive in your brain. And the more disoriented and more confused you'll begin to get. Plus, don't forget the screaming that's echoing from Jane's room. That doesn't make it better. And I'm sure it couldn't be good for your mental state either. It's also important to note that almond water has no effect here at all. Like, all the things that could happen to you here, almond water has nothing to do with it. It cannot fix it. And there are a few phenomenon of note that, again, cannot be cured by almond water, but can affect wanderers badly if you're subjected to them for long enough. One is called the burning pain. And the burning pain occurs when you get even the smallest cut from an object here. And if you do, your body will begin to break out in a rash stemming from that cut area. And it'll get worse and worse and worse the longer you stay here. Another phenomenon is flashbacks. And of course, these are because of the feelings that the level gives you. Those feelings of loss and regret. If you give in to them, you'll get into these flashbacks where your mind will dwell on situations that you've experienced in your past. Those feelings will just make more remorse and more anger and more loss happen, and you'll eventually just get worse mental health. And if you already have worse mental health than normal, those feelings can trigger flashbacks. And the final real effect this level is going to give you is the dust in the air. It's actually very dangerous because breathing it in can unalive you completely. It can just suffocate you from the inside out, which is pretty horrifying. That's a pretty common thing in some backrooms levels, though. I've gone over several in the past couple months where the dust itself seems to be this entity almost. Now, as I said at the beginning, this level is just very volatile. It seems to attack people in so many different ways and in ways we haven't talked about yet. And I haven't even talked about Jane yet, so I guess I should finally get into that. Behind the locked door of room number 315 is Jane. She's been cataloged as a Jane Doe, according to the doctor's documents in this hospital, and that's what we call her Jane. Due to her screaming, it's thought that she suffers from some kind of illness or injury or mental sickness. Because to be honest, what else could somebody scream constantly for? Some say that she's been suffering from the burning pain effect that this level gives, and some people say that it's not true, and this is actually trapped here. Whatever the case may be, most wanderers have reported feeling extremely sorry for Jane and having feelings of sadness when they hear her scream. Like they really want to help, but they can't get through the door to help her. As of this video, we do not know if Jane is human or an entity, but several rumors surround her and her existence. Some say that she's in prison because of a crime that she committed in real life. Some think that she's a soul that got trapped here in the back room somehow. Some think it's a wanderer who found this level first, walked into the wrong room, and is just stuck there. Whatever the case may be, there are some documents that have been found scattered across the hospital that might lead to some more answers. Specifically, the theory that Jane committed a crime is upheld by a flyer that was found on the floor. Now, the flyer that was found has a funeral home name on it, and it has the phrase, quote, thank you for attending the funeral services of Margaret Sane or Maggie, age five. There's also seemingly court orders that were found on this level that look to be a restraining order. This restraining order was found on a bed, and there are several other documents that have been found in the filing cabinets that talk about a Jane Doe being admitted to a hospital for a traumatic neck injury and face injury. So let me get this straight. There's been documents talking about a person kidnapping somebody, documents about a child's funeral, documents about a Jane Doe being admitted to the hospital, and that's all supposed to be random. No, no, these, these are definitely Jane. Like, these are meant for her. So make of that what you will. 
Jane sounds like a messed up individual to me. I don't know. Let me hear your theories below in the comments. I feel like she might have kidnapped somebody and may or may not have hurt them in some way. To enter the level, you can no clip into a dark part of level 448, and to exit, you gotta be on the third floor of this level, which is the very top, and then you can find where there's a roof access area. It'll be a ladder or something. Anyways, you pull that ladder down, and you will open up to the roof, and you'll see level 237 up there. Then you can just climb up, and you'll be in level 237, and you'll leave Jane behind. The document ends with the following quote. What did you expect to happen, Jane? You think I was just gonna let you do that to her? That I wouldn't stop you after the amount of torment we went through? Just because you wanted to be a mother? You better get comfortable here. It'll be a freezing day in hell before you find a way to get out of this wretched place. Never forget, you caused this, and now you won't be able to do anything to escape from it." End quote. So yeah, it seems like someone got mad at Jane for doing a little crime or something like that, and maybe she, you know, hurt somebody's kid or hurt somebody, and that person had the ability to trap her here. Who or what Jane is, is unknown still. But we do know that she committed a crime of some kind, and we know she's trapped here, and we know this level is a prison for her. And that's why the level's titled, Rot in Hell, Jane. So thank you for watching that totally cheery and fun level. It wasn't all sad or anything like that. I mean, yeah, of course it was completely normal and happy. Hope you enjoyed. If you want more of me somehow, check out my third channel, Spoogly, for internet horror, analog horror, vanishings, and strange things like that. If you like video essays, that's your channel. And you can also check out my Twitter, my Instagram and stuff. It's always in the description below if you want to follow me on that for some reason. I love you all and I appreciate you all. You seriously are the best fans. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, Leave a like if you made it to the end. Make, just go ahead and leave a like. You might as well. Tell somebody that you love them too because life is too short not to. And with all that yapping out of the way, I'll see you later.